hello everybody and welcome to today's video if you're new here welcome to my channel i hope you're all doing really well so today i really fancy doing a chilled cozy sunday vlog i feel like i haven't vlogged in quite a long time and i just wanted to film a normal sunday in my life i've been loving watching like morning routines and evening routine style videos at the moment especially in the autumn months when people make them really aesthetic and cozy like i love that but i haven't really got a set morning or evening routine and it changes weekly by the season so I couldn't really film one of those but I've been loving watching people just vlogging their everyday lives just getting on with like day-to-day -day activities so that is what I wanted to do today. So I do have a plan a bit later, I am meeting my friends and we're going to a garden centre which I feel like is the perfect activity for a Sunday, something very chilled, very like cosy vibes for the autumn and then I am going back to theirs and we are watching Harry Potter, I always watch all of the Harry Potters in the autumn, it's a tradition now, it's got to be done, um, but I thought I would vlog this morning because I definitely want to paint my nails an autumnal colour, I've got a rust nail polish that I'm yet to use, um, so I feel like it always makes me feel a bit more put together when I paint my nails as well so it'll be nice to get feeling super autumnal I need to do some makeup I'm gonna pick out an outfit for today so it'll probably be a very chilled vlog but of course to start off my morning right I am in need of a coffee so let's go downstairs and make a pumpkin spiced coffee <laughs> So it's now time to do my makeup. I literally feel like my makeup routine hasn't changed in a year. I was thinking of maybe doing a like updated makeup routine video and yeah, it literally hasn't changed. So I still use my number seven primer. I feel like I'm one of those people once I get like good makeup products that works for like my skin and stuff, I rarely ever change them. Um, so yeah, I will tell you what I'm using, but if you watch my last year's one, it's probably the same. <laughs> This isn't sponsored by number seven, but I just tend to use loads of their products. Um, but at the moment I've been using the Beauty Balm Tinted Skin Veil um, because it's really like light coverage and I tend to prefer that. Although actually I think this time last year I was using foundation, so maybe there's more differences than I thought. And I do apply this with my fingers, which I know isn't the best way. Um, but I actually used to use a beauty blender and I prefer how it goes on my skin with my fingers. So um yeah. <laughs> One thing that I'm yet to try that I know was like a thing going around this year are those like cleansing balms to get your makeup off at the end of the day. Um, I'm still using micellar water at the moment but I definitely do want to try one of those cleansing balms because I feel like they look really good. So if you have any recommendations for me on which one to use I would love to hear it. Also I have finally found one of these that matches my skin tone. Um, I tend to go for more of an orangey type shade in the summer which I don't mind because even though it is slightly darker than my skin tone it makes it look like I've got a bit of a tan even though I never actually tan. Um, but yeah I found one that actually matches so I'm using the shade Fair. And still using my trusty Lasting Perfection Concealer from Collection. Although this one is really running out so I need to get another one. I tend to avoid powder products if I can help it now, but I have been using this blush for a while. It still looks absolutely full because I feel like it doesn't ever go down because you use only the tiniest bit. I've got the shade Peach Sugar and I do feel like this is a bit dark for me because um, yeah, I literally only have to use like that amount and that is enough for me because sometimes it even looks like too much just as that. Um, and then I just like blend it in and it goes like a little goes a really long way. I also am still really loving this blush placement which I've always like I always watch makeup tutorials and they put their blush like there but I don't know I just prefer the way it looks on my face where I put it over my nose. <laughs> See how it's so much more like rosy and bright like just with the tiniest little bit of this. And I have tried a cream contour, but I really didn't get on very well with this because it is so orange. I think they've since released like a cool tones um, version of this. So I might have to try that instead. I'm not gonna do super heavy makeup today because I am literally just going to a garden center, but I mean, I wanted to feel dressed up. So <laughs> I need to get another one of these because my favorite brush, I'm gonna try and show you without it like reflecting. Um, yeah, my favorite blush shade is this one and I am severely running out of that. But um, yeah, I actually really like the sleek blushes looking very rosy. <laughs> another thing that I am really running out of, but I need to get some more of my NYX brow glue because I'm still loving this. I've actually already filled in my eyebrows with a pencil before this because I'm yet to dye them and I really need to. 
obviously being naturally redhead as well my natural eyebrows are white blonde so whenever my like dye starts to fade on my eyebrows I'm like I need to get that back on straight away because I love when people can rock their white eyebrows but I really could not <laughs> I might do a little bit of bronzer. This is the state of my bronzer. Like the lid is like cracked and coming off. I have to hold it on with a hairband. Um, but I really like this color. I feel like it's not too orange on me. So we're making it work. <laughs> I think bronzer is one of the most difficult things for me to find as somebody who is really um, fair skinned because yeah, where my skin has like pink undertones, um, I just find all bronzers look super orange on me. I have been really loving doing a bit of a sparkly eye look at the moment, like a daytime version using the Drip Drip by Made by Mitchell. Um, but when I originally got this, I was really struggling to do it in a more subtle daytime appropriate way because if you just put this straight onto your eyelid, it is super sparkly and amazing for like a night out look. But I'd seen people like dusting it over their eyelids and it looking really nice in the daytime as well. Um, and yeah, I couldn't figure out how to do it, but I have found a way that kind of works for me, but you have to be super quick. So I will try and show you. So I put a little bit on the back of my hand um, and then like basically straight away, you just dab it on and then go on your eyelid. But you have to be really quick because it dries very, very quickly. Like that is still now fully dried on my hand. So I think I'm gonna have to do it a little bit more on this eye to match them. Um, but yeah, because it dries super quickly, you can really like, it doesn't have any fallout. Like it's a really nice glitter to wear. Um, but yeah, like I want to make it subtle for the daytime, so I don't even know if I've maybe put too much on today, but we'll see. <laughs> and now I will do mascara. I always do this off camera because I probably will worst mascara face. Um, but yeah, I'll put this on and then come back. And then for lips, I've really been loving doing like a pairing of a brown and a pink lipstick together at the moment because I feel like it creates like a really nice warm autumnal colour. So I've got a Rimmel brown lipstick and a number seven pink one. I normally do the brown lipstick on first, especially because this is quite a dark one. I don't want like it just to cover up the pink afterwards. And then as always, putting lip coat over the top to make sure that it stays the full day. So that is our makeup look done for the day. Now quickly before I pick out my outfit, I wanted to show you guys some of the coats that I've been picking up recently. I never ever buy coats. I feel like I always put it off because it's quite a lot of money to spend on just one item. So I have been wearing basically the same coats for like years and years and they're getting really scruffy now and I thought this year I would just bite the bullet and buy some more coats because I never really know which one to go for. I've not really got any smart coats anymore. Um, yeah and obviously in the colder months as well like I've seen on Instagram people wearing these really like stylish like wool really nice coats over the top mine is literally like a thick winter coat is my only option to go for so I thought I would buy some coats and then I saw in the new look tool section they had a really good um like range on there so I will show you them now so this was one of those orders where I was like, I'm going to buy a few things and then I'll probably end up taking them back. And so I've got four coats in total and I love all of them and they're all quite different. Like they're going to be good for different occasions. So this first one is definitely like an evening, like layered over like a smarter outfit, um, like a leather bomber jacket one. I really love this one. Like I said, all of these are in tall, but I think they do them in the kind of normal version as well. Um, but I loved that it has this like the lining on the inside so it's going to be like super warm to wear in the autumn and winter um and yeah definitely as a smart coat like I was lacking something like this in my wardrobe so I do really like this I've currently got all the tissue bits over the buckles and stuff they won't be staying on obviously um but yeah I really like this one and then I also got a proper like big thick winter coat um because I wanted a new one of these I literally have been wearing the one that I used to wear to school for like years um so I thought I would get a new one and then keep that one as like you know you need like a scruffy coat if you're going out on like walks or something but this one will be my like nice like if I'm going to like winter wonderland and need to wrap up really warm this will probably be the coat that I go for um but again it's got that fur like lining in the inside and I love the hood on this one as well um I think it's a really cool colour um I love green I love khaki so so yeah, there's this one, quite long, good for a winter coat. I also got this cream wool one and this was definitely inspired by those Instagram people that I saw um, because I would love to like wear like an autumnal like rust jumper layered over with like a cream coat. I feel like this looks like you're really like put together, your outfit is really cool um, and yeah coats just really add to an outfit. I feel like in the past I've just had coats for like the purpose of like 
literally keeping warm whereas I feel like now I'll be able to have coats that actually like add to the outfit so I really really love this one it is a super long wool coat and um yeah I feel like the colour is very autumnal and nice and then finally I also got a very similar one in black this is just a black wool coat but this one also has a hood as well which I feel like would be really good um but it's like a work coat like a smart black coat this is really nice so yeah, if you've been wanting some new coats to add to your autumn winter wardrobe, I would definitely recommend checking out New Look. I really love all the ones that I got. So yeah, even though it was quite expensive, I feel like I'll be wearing these for years to come. And now to pick out today's outfit, as much as I love this loungewear set, I am never comfortable enough to go out wearing loungewear. So I really want to style this cardigan from Bloom Chic. I am loving the cobweb vibes and obviously we were in October, so it is appropriate to wear spooky stuff. And this is from my Bloom Chic haul that I did, by the way. So I will link that up there and down below in case you wanted to see the other bits that I picked out because they are so good for like casual Halloween stuff, like adding a bit of spook to your outfit. <laughs> but yeah, I want to try and style this today in a way that's appropriate to go out to a garden centre. <laughs> So I'm thinking underneath and maybe going for like a black turtleneck but then I don't know if a full black outfit is too much so maybe I'll try and find a different colour trouser to go with this. I do have these like cord rust trousers so do we think this would go maybe? I'll try it on and see. I have moved you down so you can see um, but yeah I feel like this goes. I feel like it's not super in your face Halloween so I can wear this to the garden centre today. Um, I love how like long and soft the cardigan is. The trousers do go I think. We're gonna hope for the best and yeah I feel like it brings in like autumnal vibes to it so um, yeah I think I like this together. We're probably gonna end up wearing this. <laughs> So I am nearly ready to head out for my final job of the morning. Like I said, I really wanted to paint my nails. So I used this colour last year, it's an Essie one. Um, and I think it's like the perfect autumnal rust colour. So I'm gonna use this to paint my nails now. It's going on a bit more of a red than I remember, but if it dries rust, amazing. And if not, red is a Halloween colour, so it's fine. <laughs> I think that one went even worse than the first hand. <laughs> I just noticed it does say the shape. So it is a bolt and be bold 180 is the shape. They have the weirdest names for nail polishes. <laughs> okay, I don't think they look too bad. I'm now gonna use the Barry M Quick Dry Top Coat. Ta -da! And that is me already now. That is my morning complete. But thank you guys for coming along with me, which has basically turned into a prolonged get ready with me to go to the garden centre. But I hope you guys have enjoyed watching anyway. And I will insert some clips after this of my afternoon because I know that the garden centre we're going to normally has a really cute autumnal display going on. And we're probably going to get some lunch there, a slice of cake or something as well. So hopefully it'll be a nice little autumnal vlog too to add to the end of this video. But thank you for getting ready with me today and I will hopefully see you in my next video. Bye!